Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another video on my channel, on my YouTube channel on slot cars. Today it's not HO, no, today it's 1 to 24 and 1 to 32. It's just a very short video on, I'm trying to give some help here on uh, nuts and bolts chassis, if you have any. How would you adjust the gear mesh perfectly so that you don't have a screaming gear or a very tight going gear that is more like a brake rather than helping you accelerate. Uh, there's a very easy, small hint that you should know that is easy to do and hope it helps. Leave me feedback. I think this is something to keep in mind. Stay tuned. So the big question on a uh, sidewinder, sidewinder or angle winder chassis is how do you adjust the gear mesh? How do you adjust, let me get this right, with the autofocus. Okay, how do you get this right so it doesn't get loose, it doesn't uh, scream, or it doesn't break, it should accelerate quite well, and it should be free running. What I use is paper, like this paper. It's thicker paper than the usual cheap one. Um, yes, because that works best for me, and I tear it in stripes like this one. I'm going to show you in a second how I'm adjusting the gear mesh with this on a nuts and bolts chassis. I'm going to open the screw for the motor adjustment so I can move the motor and the pinion back and forth. Yep. Then I put this stripe right in between the pinion and the gear like this. Yeah, hope you can see it now. Okay. And the way I tighten it is I press the motor with the pinion towards the gear, like this, with a paper stripe in between. Yeah, this autofocus is killing me. Um, and then I'm just tightening the screw that holds the whole motor bracket, like this. And then I just turn the paper stripe out. And what's left is this perfect gear mesh. Again, works on sidewinder and uh, angle winder. Just a small hint. Hope this was of help to you. Just a small tip. Quick and easy, quick and dirty. Don't forget to su subscribe. Don't forget to stay tuned. I'll be back with more 32 and 24.